So, check, check. Ah, I'm on. Very good. Shana Tova, good yontif, everyone. We will begin on page 80. If you have your uh, your machzor, page 80. You can sit wherever you want. Shana Tova, good to see you. Fantastic. And there's even there's even seating outside. There's all sorts of great stuff. All I ask is when you leave and enter the sanctuary, if you'll um, let the door close gently uh, with your hand instead of just letting it go. Because all the microphones, everything is mic'd now, which is crazy. So I would like to begin with uh, partially reading the uh, statement by the President of the United States. It's good to be in a country where we get greetings from the President. I didn't have a chance to, uh, to print out the President of, uh, of Israel, but we'll just go with one. And for Yom Kippur, I'll get the President of Israel too. On Rosh Hashanah, Jewish communities around the world celebrate the world's birth and commemorate the creation of humankind. It is time to undertake an inventory of the soul, a cheshbon hanefesh, and to ask ourselves and each other questions that go beyond our individual faiths. Who do I want to be? What type of nation do we want to forge? What type of world do we want to create? That is the message and gift of the Jewish New Year, a reminder of our infinite capacity to transform our lives and begin anew to partner with the divine and our fellow human beings in the ongoing work of creation, to rebuild our communities through empathy, acts of kindness, and compassion, to seek repentance or teshuva when we have fallen short of our values. Rosh Hashanah is a reaffirmation that we are each endowed by virtue of our creator and our common humanity with the ability to bridge the gap between the world we see and the world we seek. May the new year, 5782, be a year of health, healing, and progress, and may we all be inscribed in the book of life. Jill and I extend our warmest wishes to all those celebrating Rosh Hashanah in the United States, Israel, and around the world. Shana Tova Umituka. That means Happy New Year, and may it be a sweet one. Very nice. And so we begin on page 80. While you're here, you'll notice that there are nice windows there. And last night we had them open for a little while, but we closed them because on the TV outside and the picture inside, there was a 30-second delay, and it was kind of a... Uh, an interesting, weird kind of a play, but today I was told there's not going to be that big a delay, so we'll see. But you can feel free to get up and go and come, whatever you want. Just get a few prayers in, too. How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. In your abundant loving kindness, O God, let me enter your house reverently to worship in your holy temple. Lord, I love your house the place where your glory dwells. So I would worship with humility. I would seek blessing in the presence of God, my maker. May my prayer now, O Lord, find favor before you. In your great love, O God, answer me with your saving truth.
We continue on page 87. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher yatsa et ha'adam bechokhmah uvaravo nikavim nikavim chalulim chalulim. Blessed is our eternal God, creator of the universe, who has made our bodies with wisdom, combining veins, arteries, and vital organs in a finely balanced system. Wondrous fashioner and sustainer of life, source of our health and our strength, we give you thanks and praise. The soul that you have given me, O God, is pure. You have created it. You have formed it. You have breathed it into me. And within me you sustain it. So long as I have breath, therefore, I will give thanks to you, O Lord my God and God of all ages, Master of all creation, Lord of every human spirit. Master of all the worlds, not in reliance upon the righteousness of our deeds do we place our longings before you. We look instead to your abundant mercy. Are not all the conquerors as nothing before you and those of renown as though they had not been? The learned as if they had no knowledge and the wise as if without understanding. Many of our works are in vain, and our days pass away like a shadow. Our life would be altogether vanity were it not for the soul which, fashioned in your own image, gives us assurance of our higher destiny and imparts to our fleeting days an abiding worth. You raised up a vine out of Egypt, O oh God. You scattered our foes and planted us. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu la'asok b'divrei Torah. Blessed is the eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who hallows us with his mitzvot, and commands us to engage in the study of Torah. Edu devarim she'en lahem shiur. These are the obligations without measure. Their fruit we eat now. Their essence remains for us in olam haba, in the world to come. To honor father and mother. To perform acts of love and kindness. To attend the house of study daily. To welcome the stranger. To visit the sick to rejoice with bride and groom, to console the bereaved, to pray with sincerity, to make peace when there is strife, but the study of Torah is equal to them all. Eternal our God, make the words of your Torah sweet to us and to the house of Israel, your people, that we and our children may be lovers of your name and students of your Torah for its own sake. Please skip to page 95. Let every living soul bless your name, O Lord our God, and let every human being acclaim your majesty forever and ever. Through all eternity you are God. We have no king but you. God of all ages, ruler of all creatures, Lord of all generations, all praise to you. You guide the world with steadfast love, your creatures with tender mercy. You neither slumber nor sleep. You awaken the sleeping and arouse the dormant. You give speech to the silent, freedom to the enslaved, and justice to the oppressed. To you alone we give thanks.
Therefore, O God, limbs and tongue and heart and mind shall join to praise your name. Every tongue will yet affirm you, and every soul give you allegiance. As it is written, all my limbs shall say, Lord, who is like you? And David sang, bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. You are tremendous in power, O God, glorious in being, mighty forever and awesome in your deeds and in your works. O King, supreme and exalted, you abide forever, the High and Holy One. Therefore, let all who are righteous sing your song. The upright do well to acclaim you. O King, the assembled hosts of your people, the house of Israel, in every generation glorify your name in song. O sovereign God, great and holy King, let your name be praised forever in heaven and on earth. Blessed is the Lord, the sovereign God, the Lord of wonders, who delights in song, the only one, the life of the universe. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMavarach, praise the Lord to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai HaMavarach Le'olam Va'ed, praise be the Lord to whom our praise is due now and forever. Blessed is the grace that crowns the sky with stars and keeps the planets on their ways. The law that turns our night to day and fills the eye with light. The love that keeps us whole and day by day sustains us. Blessed is the murmuring dark. Blessed is light to the eyes. 
O oh, give thanks for life's renewal, the radiant return of the sun. The law has been our garden of delight. The law has been our life. In deepest darkness, we have held it fast. In the valley of tears, it has upheld us. Therefore, shall we learn this law and reveal it to our children. Our truth, our way, our joy, it makes us one, a single heart. United in love, we shall walk unafraid. Blessed is the law of the Lord. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Va'ed. Blessed is his glorious kingdom forever and ever. <laughs> Together, Vahavta et Adonai Arohecha, Beho Levavcha, Uvaho Nafshecha, Uvaho Meodecha, Vahayu had Varim Haele, Asher Anochi Mitzavacha Hayom, Alavavecha, Vishinantam Levanecha, Vidibarta Bam, Vishiftecha Bavetecha, Uvlechtecha Vaderech, Uvshochbacha Uvkumecha, Ukshartam Laot Al Yadecha, Vehayu le totafot bene necha, Uchtavtam amzuzo betecha, Uvisharecha, Lamaantis keruva asitem, et kol mitzvotai, vitem kiroshim lerohechem, Ani adonai erohechem, Asher hotseti et hem, me eretz mitzraim, Lihiot lachem le lohim, Ani adonai erohechem. We worship the power that unites all the universe into one great harmony. That oneness, however, is not yet. We see imperfection, disorder, and evil all about us. 
But before our eyes is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. These two we have known in some measure. There is evil enough to break the heart, enough good to exalt the soul. Our people has experienced untold suffering and wondrous redemptions. We await a redemption more lasting and more splendid than any of the past. When will redemption come? When we look upon others as we would have them look upon us. Once we were in bondage, then we were free. In that first liberation, our people saw revealed the power of the Most High. They perceived that his presence redeems time and event from the hands of tyrants. We too affirm that power that makes for freedom. We sing the song that celebrates our deliverance from Egypt and all bondage. Who is like you, eternal one, among the gods that are worshipped? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? With great joy, the redeemed shall accept you as their king, and all will say with one accord, the eternal will reign forever and ever. O rock of Israel, come to Israel's help. Fulfill your promise of redemption for Judah and Israel. Our Redeemer is the Lord of hosts, the Holy One of Israel. Blessed is the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel. Thank you. 
We praise you, Lord, our God, God of all generations, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, great, mighty, and awesome God, God supreme, master of all the living. Remember us unto life, O King, who delights in life, and inscribe us in the book of life for your sake, O God of life. You are our King and our help, our Savior and our shield. Blessed is the Lord, the shield of Abraham. Great is your might, O Lord, in this world. Great is your power in the worlds beyond. Your love sustains the living. Who is like you, Master of Might? Who is your equal, O Lord of life and death, source of salvation? It is said that the words we are about to hear and the words we are about to utter were born of the martyrdom of Rabbi Amnon of Mainz in the 10th century. He chose to die that his faith might live. He said, Unatana tokaf kudushat hayom. Let us proclaim the sacred power of this day. It is awesome and full of dread. Now the divine judge looks upon our deeds and determines our destiny. A legend and yet Surely our deeds do not pass away unrecorded. Every word, every act inscribes itself in the book of life. Freely we choose, and what we have chosen to become stands in judgment over what we may yet hope to be. In our choices, we are not always free. But if only we make the effort to turn, every force of goodness within and without will help us while we live to escape the death of the heart which leads to sin.
top of page 108. This is the day of judgment, for even the hosts of heaven are judged, as all who dwell on earth stand arrayed before you. As the shepherd seeks out his flock and makes the sheep pass under his staff, so do you muster and number and consider every soul, setting the bounds of every creature's life and decreeing its destiny. On Rosh Hashanah it is written, on Yom Kippur it is sealed. How many shall pass on? How many shall come to be? Who shall live and who shall die? Who shall see ripe age and who shall not? Who shall perish by fire and who by water? Who by sword and who by beast? Who by hunger and who by thirst? Who by earthquake and who by plague? Who by strangling and who by stoning? Who shall be secure and who shall be driven? Who shall be tranquil and who shall be troubled? Who shall be poor and who shall be rich? Who shall be humbled and who exalted? But repentance, prayer, and charity. This is your glory. You are slow to anger, ready to forgive. Lord, it is not the death of sinners you seek, but that they should turn from their ways and live. Until the last day you wait for them, welcoming them as soon as they turn to you. Man's origin is dust, and dust is his end. Each of us is a shattered urn, grass that must wither, a flower that will fade, a shadow moving on, a cloud passing by, a particle of dust floating on the wind, a dream soon forgotten. For you are the King, the everlasting God. We rise. We sanctify your name on earth, even as all things to the ends of time and space proclaim your holiness. And in the words of the prophet, we say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The fullness of the whole earth is his glory. Source of our strength, sovereign Lord, how majestic is your presence in all the earth. Blessed is the glory of God, heaven and earth. He alone is our God and our creator, our ruler and our helper. And in his mercy, God reveals himself in the sight of all the living. Ani Adonai Eloheichem, I am Adonai, your God. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. We continue on the top of page 112. Grant honor, Lord, to your people. Glory to those who revere you. Hope to those who seek you. And courage to those who trust you. Bless your land with gladness and your city with joy. And cause the light of redemption to dawn for all who dwell on earth. And the faithful sing for joy. Violence shall rage no more, and evil shall vanish like smoke. The rule of tyranny shall pass away from the earth, and alone, O Lord, shall have dominion over all your works. That's it. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. You 
are holy, awesome is your name, there is no God but you. Baruch Atadonai HaMelech HaKadosh. Blessed is the Lord, the Holy King. The top of the next page, please. The middle of the next page, page 114. Our God and God of all ages, be mindful of your people Israel on this day of remembrance and renew in us love and compassion, goodness, life, and peace. This day, remember us for well-being. Amen. This day, bless us with your nearness. This day, help us to live. Amen. Our God and God of our ancestors, sanctify us with your mitzvot and let your Torah be our way of life. Satisfy us with your goodness, gladden us with your salvation, and purify our hearts to serve you in truth. For you, O oh God, are truth, and your word is true forever. Blessed is the Lord who hallows the house of Israel and the day of remembrance. It's a long service, so sometimes it's good to do a little spiritual housekeeping, housekeeping and, and some uh, physical housekeeping. I think I have mentioned this for years and years. If during the service you feel like just getting up and walking around and looking out the window, or now we have a beautiful patio to go on as you're listening to the lovely music, Vavaka shop, please feel free. And if you're young enough, you know, I'll give you candy, but only if you're young enough. Right, yeah, go take a look. I mean, man, it's a long service. All right. Page 116. We give thanks to you for our lives which are in your hand, for our souls which are ever in your keeping, for your wondrous providence and your continuous goodness, 
which you bestow upon us day by day. Truly, your mercies never fail, and your love and kindness never cease. Therefore, do we forever put our trust in you. Eloheinu ve'elohe avoteinu, barcheinu b'racha hamushileshet hakapakatu b'torah. Our God and God of all generations, bless us with the threefold benediction of the Torah. Yivarecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Be this God's will. Ya'er Adonai pana v'lecha v'chuneka. May the light of the Lord's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. I read the wrong one. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Be this God's will. Ya'er Adonai pana v'lecha v'chuneka. May the light of the Lord's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. Grant peace and happiness, blessing and mercy to all Israel and all the world. Bless us, our God, all of us together, with the light of your presence. For in the light of your presence, we have found a teaching of life, the love of mercy, the law of justice, and the way of peace. For it is ever our will that your people, Israel, be blessed with peace. Teach us, O God, to labor for righteousness and inscribe us in the book of life blessing and peace. Blessed is the Lord, the source of peace. Page 118. Mishaberach Avotenu Abraham Yitzchak Biakov, may the one who blessed our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Vimotenu Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Valea, and our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, may God send healing and blessing and peace and recovery to these many, many on our prayer list. Jana Kashnaya. Ravu Stepan, K. Rex, Doris Wilson, Karen Seabor, Linda Hibbler, Barb and Wayne Jurek, the Miller family, Melissa Ware, Linda Lipton, Shannon Trimble, Joel Safer, 
Gershon ben Yaakov Rubin. Carol Vasek, Steve Sweetnick, Allison Sarah Ben Ezra. Trish Heisler, Larry Riga. Jason Slaby, Phil Lipton. David Slaby, Betty Frick, Teddy Lawrence, Kim Waxman, Millie Lipton, Kathy Garrett, Mara Waxman, Valerie Jarm, Shar Wallen, Gina Rippin, Eleanor Shelton, Randy Oyaski, Chris Ilner, Deborah Warner, Frank Farinacci, David Marshall, George Morris, Yaakov Ben Masha, John and Archer Ackerman, Bruce Edelstein, the refugees from Afghanistan from the Taliban, those injured in suicide homicide bombings, the families of the 13 servicemen and women the Marines killed in the bombing about a week ago. And we have uh, 13 flags over there for, uh, as a reminder of them. We pray for healing for their families. Melon Phyllis Appel, Bonnie Apple, Gerald Ashman, Avrahama Batgitel, David Blatt, Faina Babrova, Courtney Bartunik, Marilyn Bell, Gina and Picky Bergamo, Arnie Burstein, Joe Blasco, Anatoly Blumkin, Tiffany Bawson, Nick Kanisha, Priscilla Carter, Sloan Caston, Gail Selezik. Those in the the families in the aftermath of the towers collapse in Florida in, in June. Christian communities in the Middle East. Boris and Mila Chuchman, Mary Sakati, Joan and Ralph Roll, Darnella Clark, Malcolm Cole, Marilyn Mayers, Amy Coleman, Arlene Comet, Marcy Cox, Warren Cumley, Sandra Davis, Gail DeWalt, Quinton Durham. Abby and Joan Eckley. Stacy Falkenstream, those waiting in detention centers. <clears throat> Jean Foxman, Elaine Friedman, Bob Friedrich, Riley Friedman. Alexander Gen, Tom Gehring, Dan Gilbert, Nick Gilbert, Joanne Giovanelli, Shmuel Ben Michal, Judy Goldsmith, Scott Growl, Betty Gray, Ralph Gray, Ellen Gross. Diane Grunes, Eugene Guzik, Judy Guzik. Those in the aftermath of the earthquake in Haiti, healthcare workers, Brian Hodge, Joan Horowitz, those in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida in Louisiana, and the aftermath of the flooding in New, Jer in New York and New Jersey and down around Philly, those uh, from the wildfires out in California and other places with wildfires as well. Our Israeli brothers and sisters enduring Palestinian terrorism. Ann Jacobs, Carolyn James, Dave and Marsha Kaplan, Stephen Karras, Seth Caspi, Gigi Harvey, Andrew Kaufman, Amber Keller, Justin Kelly, Mark Klein, Chuck Kalina, Charlotte Kurlander, Margie Kurzbard, Diane and Nate Lebovic. Smadar Lahav, Chuck Landberg, Christine Lance, Sally Lewis, Judith Lieberman, Ron Lingenfield, Darlene Leonardo, Michelle Magazine, Julie Mancino, Sue Marks, Gary Martz Jr., Ciela McLean, Amy Mendelson, Renata Miller, Shelley Moriyama, Maureen Moss Self, Joseph Newman, Steve Newman, the grandson of Jack and Pearl Miner. Rabbi Rob Nosenchuk, Kathy and Don Natovny, Mike Novak, Alex Noodleman, Danny Overton, Lester Palmer, Tanya Palmer, Jody Pickle, Jeff Pizum, Dylan Pollock, Arlette Rappaport, Laura Reed, Ali Renan, Carolyn Riley, Michael Robinson, Eric Rodiger, Deb Rosenberger, Sophie Rosenthal, Barbara Rosette, Tina Slonsky, Crystal Osley Detti, Dragon Detti, Ji Gong, Tony Rossi, Michael Rothschild, Jerry Schiff, Elaine Skolnick, 
Ed and Carolyn Smith, Maggie Schneider, Susan Schudel, Michael Schumacher, Jonathan Sidor, Jill Shimori, Shimon Ben Malka, Moshe Ben Chaya, Trudy Silverman, Annie Singerman, Rabbi Josh Scoff, Annette Samason, Christina Smith, Dylan Summer, Colin Presley Stacy, Susie Strom, Hannah Zabo, Tibor Zabo, Naomi Herod Hatfield, Chaviva Tamor, Richard Thomas, Brandy Toth, Uyghur Muslims in Chinese concentration camps, Rabbi Allison Van, Okisi Warren, Brady Ween, Jan Weiner, Karen Weiss, Yitzchak Wessler, Bill and Eddie White, Susan Wiedenfeld, Nechama Bat Chana, Lindsay Earhart Wright, Yaakov Ben Benjamin, the Jewish community in Yemen, Jerry Zussman, and good people from every, every background in need of your healing. And may it be a complete recovery and a speedy recovery. And let us say, Amen. We pause for a brief moment of silent prayer. We continue on page 120 with the Torah reading. There are a few things going on before that as well. If you are going to be carrying a Torah scroll, so Eliana Leah Rachel, bring a bring a machzor with you. Uh, the prayer book, you have one. Uh, yeah, you can get one. And uh, Mayor, you're coming. And. Uh, Richard Friedman is going to carry a Torah, and I'm going to carry a Torah. So this, of course, as everything else, will be just done like everything else, anything else we've ever done. So this is how we're going to try to do it. After Avinu Malkinu, we, we go out carrying the Torah. Since the choir's microphone is there, Rachel will stay there and not march with the Torah so that when she sings, well, we can hear and we can kind of, you know, sync up to it. We'll try anyway. Okay. I will carry the Torah in the sanctuary. Meir, when I give you a Torah, you're going to carry into the social hall. Eliana, Leah, Rachel, you're going to go outside through this door and whomever is out there. And I don't have any windows, so I don't know who it is or how many people there are. Are there people out there? Nice. Party, how many? 30 or so. 30 or so? Great. Great. And I'll, and I'll do this part. And we'll sing and we'll take the Torahs and it takes as long as it takes. This is the announcement of the Torah service right here. It's the big, it's the big part of the service coming. Beautiful. 
Uh, those of you who are carrying Torahs, can you come up on page 120? There is none like you, O Lord, among the gods that are worshipped, and there are no deeds like yours. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord rules, the Lord will reign forever and ever. Lord, give strength to your people. Lord, bless your people with peace. You guys know each other? And there's a camera right there, so don't smile because it's a serious part of the service, as I say into the microphone, but at least know that it's right there. Avinu Malkenu, a hundred generations have stood as we do now before the open ark, that they find found in themselves little merit testifies to their humility. They repented and amended their ways. They fell only to rise again as they climbed toward the light. Strong was the faith of those who stood before stood here before us, while we are of a generation that has sought to dethrone you. Many have said to the works of their hands, you are our gods. Strange then to see the emptiness in those who cast you out. Strange to see the agonies of our own time. Uh, they grow more numerous and more intense, the more our worship centers on ourselves. Strange that men and women grow smaller without you, smaller without the faith that you are with them. We pray, therefore, that this day, which yet restores your people, may help us come closer to you, the living God, the God of life. For you are with us whenever we seek your presence. You are absent only when we shut you out, only when, full of ourselves, we leave no room for you within our hearts. We call you Avinu. As a loving parent, forgive our sins and failings, and reach for us as we reach for you. We call you Malkenu, as a wise ruler. Teach us to add our strength to your love, that we may redeem this world and build your kingdom. To this vision, to this possibility, to this task, we offer ourselves anew. Avinu Malkenu Shema Koleinu. Father, our King, hear our words. Avinu Malkenu Chatanu Lefanecha. Our Father, our King, we have sinned against you. Avinu Malkenu Hamol Alenu Vaal Ol Alenu Vatapenu. Our Father, our King, have compassion on us and on our children. Avinu Malkenu Kale Dever Vecher Vraav Me Alenu. Our Father, our King, make an end to sickness, war, and famine. Avinu Malkenu Kale Koltsar Umastin Me Alenu. Our Father, our King, make an end to all oppression. Avinu Malkenu Kotvenu Besefer Chaim Tovim. Our Father, our King, inscribe us for blessing. Avinu Malkenu Chadesh Alenu Shana Tova. Our Father, our King, let us let your year be a good year for us. Avinu Malkenu Male Yadenu Birchotecha. Our Father, our King, fill our hands with blessings. Avinu Malkenu Chanenu Va'anenu Ki Ein Banu Ma'asim Ase Imanut Zedaka Vechesed Vahoshienu. Our Father, our King, be gracious and answer us, for we have little to
The Lord, the Lord God, is merciful and gracious, endlessly patient, loving, and true, showing mercy to thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin, and granting pardon. O house of Jacob, come let us walk by the light of the Lord. Praise be the one who in his holiness has given the Torah to his people Israel. Yisrael, Adonai, Eloheinu,
So from three weeks ago, the bat mitzvah did not forget the power move, you know, the, the raising and seating. Nice job. We practiced months on that. So how do you figure that? She figured it out right away. Most of the bar and bat mitzvah students, they get it figured out right away. We are going to Meir Karras. Last year his bar mitzvah was this, this Torah portion. And so what we're going to do now is, I said to him last year, how great would it be if you learned this Torah portion in preparation for, the, uh, for Rosh Hashanah and you can do it every year for us, as long as you're here until you go away to college. And then his mom goes, what do you mean, go away to college? <laughs> All right, so anyway. And then wherever you go, I told him, ah, you could be traveling France or Belgium or Australia or New Zealand or someplace, and you're just a yid. You need, you got to show up someplace for Rosh Hashanah, and you get there. And then they say, ah, if only we had somebody to chant the Torah portion, Rosh Hashanah morning. And then he'll be like, I can do that. He'll be like, he'll be like a superstar for that congregation. By the way, it's a good thing to have some skills in life. It's good to have, keep a few things. But what you can always do, right? Some of them are self-defense moves. Some of them are just being able to read, learn how to swim, things like that. And his father has been teaching him how to chant the Torah and his father, John, did a great job. And he's the guy by here, so he's going to look. We, uh, Mayor will be chanting from, this is our Holocaust scroll, our precious legacy scroll. This is from, written in 1830, from a little town in Czechoslovakia, 
called Castel Nad Orlitzi. There were about 25 Jewish families. The Torah scrolls survived. The families did not. And so we take this Torah out and we, we use it when, as often as we can because as long as we use this Torah, Judaism is living and these people are living. This family is living. These families in this community is living. And somebody once told me the best revenge is a life well lived. Right? So we're still here and we're thriving. And that is the best way to live. He will be chanting on page 124, the whole kit and caboodle, uh, or whatever you do, what, whatever the caboodle is. I don't remember exactly how much the kit and caboodle is. How far are you going? Just point. Where do you think you're going? You're doing the whole thing. Yeah, you didn't realize how well you were doing. You were doing the whole thing. Uh, while he's chanting, and you can read the English and follow along, and... Uh, you're Yaakov? All right, so we're, we'll all do the Torah blessing together, and then I'll move over there. Before we do the Torah blessing, our Hof Torah reader, um, yeah, you can, most definitely. Yeah, I'm just doing this to get out of the way. I'm not your, part of your family. I mean, in the huge spiritual way, we're, we're family, but. So Jazzy Gold, uh, Natanya, she took a little ill, and that was what the ambulance was. So uh, it, she, she knows how to make uh, an entrance, and uh, she knows how to, how to leave a place, too. So she left. So uh, uh, God willing, she'll be okay. Misha Berach, Avotainu, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, may the one who blessed our fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, send healing and blessing to our dear Natanya, our dear Jacqueline Gold, Grant her a refuah shlema, whatever is her condition at this point, and may she uh, remain young and healthy and youthful and a complete recovery, and may it be a, a speedy recovery. And together let us all say, Amen. Amen. And then we'll all do the Torah blessing uh, together. Right, so I'll call you to the Torah. Yamod, Meir, Ben. Yaakov uh, Bela, we call Ford Meir here, and uh, let's do the Torah. You can take this. We'll do the Torah. What should I? You want me to get the little the thing to be able to stand? Are you? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just hold this. Make sure it doesn't drop. It's forty days of fasting. Hey, look, I use this too. It's not a. Uh, but the cool people use a step stool. The cool people use a step stool yeah. and chant from the Torah. Okay, so we'll do the Torah blessing together. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamavorach, Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Le'olam Va'ed, Baruch Adonai Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim, Venatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah.
Elohim. By a ben sham of Raham, and a misbea clear rech at Taitim. Be coda it's hak beno. By a semi toe, all a misbea me mal I team. By slak of Raham, et yado, by kaka to mechalet, we shut up and no. By cry love, malach, I don't I, mina shamayim, by Omer Abraham, Abraham, by Omer Hineni, by Omer. Altishlach, Yadcha, Elena, Elena, Ar, Baltash, Lo, Muma, Kiata, Yerati, Kiara, Elohim, Ata, Belo, Chasachta, Ebnicha, Yechicha, Mimani, by Sabraham, Etena, Bayar, Behine, Ayil, Achar, Nechaz, Besacha, Bekarnav, Bayelach, Abraham, by Kach, Eta, Ayil, Bayelahu, Lolat, Achat, Beno, Vaikra Abraham, Shema Makoma, who I don't know, you're right. I share your mar, I own, but hard on I, you're right. Vaikra Malach, Vaikra, Vaikra Malach, Abraham, Shani Minashamayim, Vayomer, Finish Batinu, I don't know. Ki, Ya en, I share, I see Tatavar, Hazar, Belo Hazachta, Pinchaya Hicha, Ki Barach, Avarachacha. Barbe or bay, it's a rock, a cook bay, hashamayim, the caho, a shell so far, I am. Be a roach, a raha, et shore bab, be he brahu, bizaraha, co goye, arrets, a cave, a shell shamata, be coli, by a shab, a raham, el nara, by a kumu, be a huyahda, a bear shaba, be a shab, a raham, be bear shaba. Baruch atarunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu Torah temet, V'chayi olam nata v'tochinu, Baruch atarunai, Notein haTorah. Beautiful. So the half Torah on page 128, and then we'll just do the, uh, the English on page 133. Uh, Natanya was our half Torah uh, reader, chanter this morning. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher bachar Vivihim tovim, Veratza, Vedivrehem, Hanemarim, Behemet, Baruchata, Adonai, Abohe, Batorah, Uv Moshe, Abdo, Uv Yisrael, Amo, Uv Invie, Haemet, Batsedek. Page 133, at the coming of the seventh month, when the people of Israel were in their towns, all the people gathered at one body in the square in front of the water gate. They asked Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had enjoined upon Israel. On the first day of the seventh month, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, both men and women, and all who could understand, and he read from it, facing the square in front of the water gate. From early morning till noon, then Ezra the governor, then Nehemiah the governor, and Ezra the priestly scribe, and the Levites who taught the people, said to them, this day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep. 
For all the people had been weeping when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go now, eat of the best, drink sweet wine, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to the Lord. Do not be sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sur kol haolamim, Tzadik bechol hadorot, Ha'el ha'ne'emahan, Ha'omer ve'oseh, Ha'medaber humakayim, Shekol devarav, Emet vatzedek, al ha Torah, va'al ha Avodah, va'al ha Nvi'im, va'al Yom Hazikaron Hazeh, shenatata lahanu Adonai Eloheinu lechavod ultifaret, al ha Kohon Adonai Eloheinu anachnu modim lach umvarachim otah. Yit barach shimcha bafi kochai, tamid le olaham vaehen, udvarcha emet vikayam le ahahad, baruch atah adonai, melech akol haaretz, mikadesh Israel, beyom hazikaron. Amen. How did this air conditioner What? You know, it's... And, and this is one of the best parts of life. <laughs> like a popsicle. <laughs> or a juicicle. I don't know if that works. Sorry. Well, the next. The next thing. Thirty eight. All right, so if you have a have a shofar and you want to sound it, I think what we're going to do is we're going to open up that door and we're going to sound the shofar like crazy right out the door. And the, the beautiful fun part about this will be that out on the patio, they're like 30 seconds behind us. So we're opening up the door. They're going to hear the shofar twice. When we blow it out the door, and then they're going to be like, and then they'll hear it. So we'll, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Uh, who has a shofar here? Anybody? One? You have a shofar? No, no shofar? All right. Oh. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this back together later because it needs to really be wrapped up tightly. And we'll do that a little later. No, you did a nice job. You did a nice job.
And you know how you take a loved one and you, you cover up a loved one who is, you know, just want to respect the dignity of a loved one, an elderly relative maybe? So um, I'm going to cover up the Torah while it's here. All right, so then it's like uh, Dro and Eisenberg. I mean, that's it. All the hot air in the room. Two Eisenbergs. It's not a competition, but he's younger. He'll 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 outblow both. He'll out he'll outblow both of us, which is fine. All right. So, okay, you want to come and get the shofar? Notice the way it's caught by the uh, the shofar rotor caught in the uh, the burning bush, the bush, and then stand at that door. You can open up that door. We're going to blow out the door when we get there. Here's Shimon the shul mouse. Shimon is in the shofar. He'll be on the Torah. I think that's not disrespectful to the Torah. It's Shimon. He's, he's wearing a kippah. First day of the month, there shall be a sacred assembly, a cessation from work, a day of commemoration proclaimed by the sound of the shofar. Hear now the shofar, acclaim the world's creation. Hear now the shofar, you who stand at Sinai. Hear now the show, hear now the call, turn in repentance. We are made in the divine image. On page 139, we rise. Abandon your evil ways, your unworthy schemes, one of you. Let's wait for them to be done. <laughs> so what I think we're going to do here is we'll turn to page 142. You'll do the blessings. And we're going to stand at the door and we're going to sound the shofar. And that's 142. Pages, because I know people love that on the High Holy Days, that we're going to skip to page 147. All right, so. That. So 142, and then you'll skip to 147. All right, and uh, I'm not taking this with me. You just have to call the calls, okay? All right, so she'll do the blessings, and we're going to go stand there. And you stay here, and uh, when for the blessings, Rise. <laughs> what? Eh, we'll face that way. I gotta turn off the microphone.
You can sit. Uh, please be, you are seated, sorry. The Torah proclaims God heard the enslaved people's groaning and remembered the covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The prophet declares, I will remember the covenants I made with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish with you an everlasting covenant. Our God and God of all generations will remember us with favor and grant us your compassionate deliverance. Remember your love for us, the covenant you made with Abraham on Mount Moriah. Remember his boundless love for you, his willingness to offer you all that was his. Show us your compassion then, and in your goodness, look with favor upon your people and your loved ones. This world's birth. This day, all creatures stand before you, whether as children or as slaves. As we are your children, show us a parent's compassion. As we are slaves, we look to you for mercy. Shed the light of your judgment. O holy and awesome God. O God supreme, accept the offering of our lips, the sound of the shofar. In love and favor, hear us as we invoke your remembrance. And let us skip a few pages in the middle of page 151 let us say those three lines of oh god supreme accept the offering of our lips the sound of the shofar in love and favor hear us as we call to you with the sound of the shofar <laughs> Let us not rise. On page 152, let us pray together. Lord, we pray to you for the whole house of Israel, scattered over the earth, yet bound together by a common history and united by a common heritage of faith and hope. Be with our brothers and sisters whose lives are made because they are Jews. Give them strength to endure and lead them soon from bondage to freedom, from darkness to light. Bless this holy congregation and all who serve it. In all lands near and far, uphold us, shield us, and bestow upon us abundant life and health and peace and happiness. Bring to fulfillment the blessing of Moses. The Lord your God make you a thousand times as many as you are. And bless us as he has promised you. Amen. O God, send your healing to the sick your comfort to all who are in pain or anxiety, your tender love to the sorrowing hearts among us. Be their refuge as they pass from weakness to strength, from suffering to consolation, from lonely fear to the courage of faith. Amen. We pray for all who hold positions of leadership and responsibility in our national life. Let your blessing rest upon them and make them responsive to your will. an example of justice and compassion. Deepen our love for our country and our desire to serve it. Strengthen our power of self-sacrifice for our nation's welfare. Teach us to uphold its good name 
by our own right conduct. Cause us to see clearly that the well-being of our nation is in the hands of all its citizens. Imbue us with zeal for the cause of liberty in our own land and on all lands, and help us always to keep our homes safe from affliction, strife, and war. Amen. We pray for the land of Israel and its people. May its borders know peace, its inhabitants tranquility, and may the bonds of faith and fate, which unite the Jews of all the lands, be a source of strength to Israel and to us all. God of all lands and ages, answer our constant prayer with a Zion, once more glow with light for us and for all the world, and let us say, Amen. We are going to return the tour to the Ark. Mayor, could you come and help me open the Ark doors, please? Let us praise the name of the Lord, page 154. Let us praise the name of the Lord, whose name alone is exalted. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The word of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. Behold, the good doctrine has been given you. Do not forsake it. It is a tree of life to those who hold it fast, and all who cling to it find happiness. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Help us to return to you, O Lord, then truly shall we return. Renew our days as in the past. Thanks. 
In a moment, I would like to call forward Richard Friedman to do announcements and to, to address the congregation. First, let us pray for, from uh, Rabbi Fred Chaplin's prayer book. We beseech thee, O God, to shield and protect the men and women who serve in our armed forces in the air, on sea, and on land. Bless them with victory. May it be thy will that the dominion of tyranny and cruelty speedily be brought to an end, and a kingdom of righteousness be established on earth with liberty and freedom for all of your children. We pray in general for the U.S. military, and in particular, U.S. Army, Neil Altman, Daniel Corrigan, Derek Olbrock, Charlie Spinks, Steve Calderon, Alex Taipale. U.S. Marines, Sidney Bernstein, Max Schlesel, Dylan Lawson, Bjorn Rube. U.S. Navy, Ethan Bernstein, Sidney Malone, Josh Olbrock. U.S. Air Force, Keith Pearson. Ohio National Guard, David Newman. National Guard, Channing Schrock. We pray for the officers of the Mayfield Heights Police Department, the police and the fire and the first responders, and we expand that out to all of the police, fire, and first responders. We pray in general for the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, and in particular for Tom Rosencrantz, Itamar Meromi, Omri Kanan, Ido Margalit. We pray for the families of Aron Shaul and Hadar Golden, those two soldiers. The remains of those two soldiers are being held by Hamas in Gaza since the summer of 2014, and so those families cannot bury the remains of their boys. Avira Mengestu is an Israeli. He is being held by Hamas in Gaza since 2014. American prisoners in Iran, Siamak Namazi, Imad Shargi. American Marines in prison in Russia under suspicion of uh, spying, Paul Whelan and Trevor Reed. Mark Fryricks is an American civil engineer. He was abducted in Afghanistan in February. And Austin Tice is an American journalist missing in Serious since 2012, he was a, ph a photojournalist. And there are others as well. So we keep them all in our thoughts and prayers for reunification with their, their dear families. And let us say amen. amen. Get the big microphone. I'll take the big on? It is. Well, that's good. The Shana Tova, it is so wonderful Shana to see Tova. you. This morning has been an eventful morning, um, but a good morning. It's wonderful to have people in the building praying with us. It's wonderful to see you, Rabbi Fred. I hope you heard my words last night. I know we, we had to alter the way that we celebrated your 90th birthday. But I think on that cold day in January, we all showed up and showed our love for you. And I, I hope you feel that every day. And it's wonderful to see you. It's amazing to have the choir here in person. You know, it, you hear sigh hit the notes. Ha'el, ha'gibor, ha'gadol. It's chilling. It's thrilling. It, every member of the choir does such a wonderful job. They, they're here rehearsing. I believe this year they started rehearsing around the 4th of July. And it's phenomenal. And uh, we thank you all for being here. Mrs. Kim, your direction is wonderful. You honor us with your presence, and thank you. Uh, we will be back here on July, on July. But on September 15th, we'll be back at 7.30 for Colton Israel Services. This year, on the 16th, for Yom Kippur, we have some changes. So the children's service is going to be at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then the adult service. And then in between, for the first hour, in the Stark Family Social Hall, we're going to have some music played for purposes of guiding meditation and contemplative thinking. And then the following hour, our congregants, Smidar Lahav and Erica Gold, are going to talk about their experiences. Smidar's father was rescued from the Nazis, 
and Erica was rescued from the Nazis. And I think being able to hear that, particularly on Yom Kippur, is one, an important story that we all remember and learn, and two, the timing the day is important, and additionally, as we reflect back on 9-11 20 years ago, it will also be a, an important reminder that though we feel safe most days, we're never totally safe if we ever let up our vigilance. We were scheduled to have a COVID vaccination station here on September 24th. Due to circumstances, it's going to be at JFSA. They're located on Chagrin Boulevard. But we urge you, if you are not vaccinated, please get vaccinated. I mentioned this last night, it's a bipartisan affair. The previous five presidents, two Republicans, three Democrats, all fully vaccinated. I was reading this morning that studies show that if you are vaccinated, there is a one in 5,000 chance per day that you're going to get COVID. That's a breakthrough case. Of the people who are hospitalized, I'm told it's less than 10% of the total number of people hospitalized. The vaccine saves lives. My birthday present this year was to get the vaccine. The only side effect I experienced was joy. Please, please get vaccinated. We are also looking, uh, we will have a health fair, I believe it's December 12th. We're looking to have the, uh, the vaccination station there as well. That'll be a time where more people are eligible to get booster shots. You probably received a nice bag that had uh, a sticker on the outside of product to buy. My good friend Peter Framark would say, buy deep, not wide. So if you're going to buy tuna fish, buy a lot of tuna fish. Don't buy some tuna, some macaroni. Buy a lot of one thing and bring it in. And here is the bag. And uh, buy a lot. It will be good. Last night I looked at the past year and today I wish to address the five W's and the little temple that could. The first of the five W's is worship. There is nothing quite like being in a group of people thanking the Lord for the blessings in our lives and asking for assistance with the challenges. And we prove that again today. Surrounded by members of our tribe, we know we are not alone. And this is true whether you're on Facebook or YouTube or whether you're on the patio or you're whether you're in the sanctuary or in the Stark Family Social Hall. We know that there is peace available to us. We see there are others striving to bring peace and justice to our world. We have more than God to help us. We have each other. In recent years, studies have shown that there is also a connection between religious practice and less depression, lower blood pressure, an improved ability to deal with financial strain and physical pain, better all overall health, and longer life. Coming here every Friday night could extend your life and make you happier. I say 7.30 Friday nights, this is the place to be. If anything, virtual services taught me how much I miss the camaraderie of Shabbat services. The sanctuary is nothing when it's not filled with congregants worshiping together. Next is wisdom. We live in the information age. We read or hear factoids. We are presented opinions as if they are facts. Wisdom comes from processing information into good judgment, drawing on our experience both collectively and historically and individually. As an example, it is not enough to know that 400 people are hospitalized with COVID in Northeast Ohio. That's a factoid. How many people have access to the system? Were there only 500, 80% of the population would be hospitalized with COVID. That's significant. If on the other hand, there is 1.3 million, it's a totally different outcome. 1.3 million would be 0.03%. Of that group, how many were vaccinated? How many were unvaccinated, etc.? Asking the right question and drawing on the collective experience of our ancestors and your own judgment is a key to wisdom. My behavior will be very different by placing information in context. Further, knowing the historical context really helps draw out a, a broader base so that we're not relegated to small sample size. 
As a congregation, we need to know the wisdom from study of Torah, Talmud, Midrash, and many of the other readings and teachings of our faith. But we need your wisdom. We need it on the board of trustees, on the standing committees, and for ad hoc issues. Part of wisdom is being respectful of people with whom we disagree. The power of persuasion diminishes when we insult those we are trying to persuade. People don't care to know what you know until they know that you care. Work is the third W. Whether it's putting chairs on the patio, producing our live stream, coordinating and staging an event, or anything else, we need you to add your work to our collective effort. No one is asking you to do work you dislike, but if you're good at something, offer your talent. We need graphic designers to help redesign the logo of the synagogue. We need internet experts to make our website world class. We need social marketers to help drive traffic to our streams, our events, and our services. We need fundraisers, people to help in the library or the office. We need workers. We need you. Wit is up next. Tense situations are often relieved by a little wit. Discussions that are moving far afield are reset with a joke. We are thinking about buying the new singing computer. It's Adele. All of us are brought closer together when we laugh together. When does a man's joke become a dad joke? When it's a parent. Bring your wit with you and join Cleveland's second funniest rabbi in bringing laughter, the best medicine, to Temple Israel near Tamid. Finally is wealth. Each year this institution spends about $2,000 per member family on salaries, gas and electric, insurance, maintenance, necessary services like internet, accounting, banking, and the rest. That number will likely increase some with our new building and with inflation, but I anticipate new members will help offset that increase. Some of us are fortunate to be able to contribute more than this amount. Please do. Some get temporary bumps. This past year, the government gave many taxpayers $3,200 each as part of the COVID relief bill, and many of these recipients continue to receive their normal income or maybe even saw an increase. Why not share your wealth? Ability must be accompanied by willingness. It allows for the expansion of our programs and to permit those with, without as much free cash flow to still derive the benefits of belonging to this congregation. It also permits all of us to benefit from everyone's offering of the other four W's. This is the last High Holy Days that I'll have the privilege of speaking as the President of the Board of Trustees. And I thank Rabbi Matt and Marcy and Linda and Rachel for making my time as President better. I thank all of you for the support that you've shown me over the last four years. Your prayers, your good wishes have meant the world to me. And I know that you will offer our incoming president, Gary Rosenthal, your prayers and good wishes and the five W's. One of our past presidents, Nadine Bendicki, referred to our synagogue as the little temple that could. In keeping with that railroad analogy, permit me to quote from the boss, Bruce Springsteen. This train carries saints and sinners. This train carries losers and winners. This train carries whores and gamblers. This train carries lost souls. This train hear the steel wheels singing. This train bells and freedom ringing. This train carries broken hearted. This train thieves and sweet souls departed. This train carries fools and kings. This train, now this train, dreams will not be thwarted. This train, faith will be rewarded. All aboard this train. Lashana Tova, may you all be inscribed in the Book of Life and sealed as well. Brett, I see you raise your hand. Yes, sir. We need jam. We need jam, we need jam not jelly, and we need quart bags. We need jam number one, number two, and number three. We need quart bags, number four. And if you want to buy peanut butter, bring the fake stuff, not the natural stuff. We're always looking for drivers, part of that work. We're always looking for drivers and people to make the sandwiches on Friday night. Lashana Tova, it has been my privilege to be the president, and uh, thank you so much. Be well.
wrong microphone, but that's all right. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you, thank you. Those are quart size Ziploc bags. And I, I generally uh, drive the PB&J van the first Friday of the month. And last Friday I drove with uh, the big Yid, with Brett, and with Joe, and with Jennifer. And we, ha we handed out to about nine people on the street, which is a lot of people on the street, um, sleeping on the street. It was, uh, it's always a, a bit of a reality check for any of us. And if you care to help us, please do. You don't have to sign up to drive every month. Just, just call in and say, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll drive uh, one of the Friday nights. Uh, in your uh, machzor, would you please turn to page 33 in your prayer book, the machzor. Machzor is, means like the cycle it's for the Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, it's the cycle of the year. We'll, we'll take a look at right, page 33, and then you can mark it, and we'll come back to it later. The Shana Tovah 5782. May it be a beautiful beginning of the year for us. Are you supposed to be singing something and I missed it? Oh, that's beautiful. Fantastic. Well, whatever you're supposed to sing, please sing. And then I'll start the, uh, anybody time in the sermon? I didn't start yet. Please.
Confession is good for the soul, always. I apologize for stepping on that with both feet, all the way up with the hip waders even. So that was lovely. Thank you very much. Lashana Tovah 5782. May it be a beautiful beginning to a new year. Last night, we talked about the phrase, live long and prosper. The phrase should be understood both as a prayer and as a command. The popular phrase is from Mr. Spock on the TV series Star Trek way back in 1966. The phrase is accompanied with the hand gesture because Leonard Nimoy was a Jew. And that Vulcan hand gesture is an ancient symbol he learned as a boy, going to shul with his father and his grandfather and his brother in Boston in the 1940s. It's a Jewish hand, ge hand gesture for blessing, and we make it when we do the blessing of people, the priestly benediction. And uh, Rabbi Fred's hands are up on top of the ark. Those are his hands. The ark was uh, made and did all of the needlework in 1991. Iona Dettelbach, I mentioned her last night. She was the head of that whole crew. Fantastic. And last night we talked about Zoe Koplowitz. Zoe Koplowitz ran, ran 25 consecutive New York City marathons from 1989 through 2013, and she finished in last place every single year. She finished in last place because she had MS and diabetes. She was diagnosed with MS in 1975. And at first, she thought it was a death sentence. But then she realized God has a bigger plan for her. And she trained. And I was, I was speaking with a friend last night. And he said, man, I hope I've got some of her in me. Because that grit and determination to run a marathon on crutches with the difficulties I have in my life, he said, boy, I hope I've got that in me. It's really a, a good way to live. She trained, and with the help of friends and disabled runners, she completed the marathon each year in last place. Live long and prosper. As long as you do not give up, you will live long and prosper. I had another sermon I was preparing to give this morning because every year I talk about Israel. The miracle and the promise and the goodness that is the state of Israel. However, as I stirred very, very early this morning and went to sleep late last night, the emotional weather front of the 20-year uh, commemoration of September 11th, 2001, came rolling in, and for weeks, I've been trying to compartmentalize it. And usually, we're all pretty good at compartmentalizing things, but the clouds were just too heavy and the overcast too overpowering to avoid. So the sermon I was going to deliver is not the sermon I'm going to deliver now, but the sermon I'm going to deliver now is the sermon I am delivering now. In addition to 9-11, there will be a connection to the promised land of Israel in this sermon. At home this week, we've been watching commemorations and interviews of families and friends and children as it pertains to the horror of that day 20 years ago. This Saturday, this Shabbat, September 11th, I will offer a brief prayer and reflection at the Sailors and Soldiers Monument at 9.37 a.m during the annual 9-11 memorial service downtown. They've been doing an annual since the 15th anniversary of 9-11. 9.37 is the time Flight 77, American Airlines Flight 77, hit the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Gold Star families will place a wreath. There will be a bugler playing taps. The names of the slain will be read and we will solemnly remember and we will pledge to protect and serve the citizens of this beloved country and other good people from all walks of life. 20 years ago, on Tuesday, September 11th, 
enemies of America inflicted on this nation the worst act of terrorism we had ever experienced. Ironically, the numerical value of September 11 is 9-11. It was an emergency. For so many people, it still is an emergency. Before September 11, 2001, it would have been hard for us to imagine anything more terrible than the 1995 bombing of the federal building in Oklahoma City with 168 dead. But the casualties out of New York City and Washington and Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and then the related deaths are almost 20 times as great. Think of it. That's an Oklahoma City bombing every day for three weeks, every single day. So we're going to talk about this because it's on everyone's mind and it lies heavily on most everyone's soul because it's hard to think or talk really about anything else for the past week, especially as the Taliban flag now flies over the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan. It'll be there on 9-11, flying up in the air this Saturday. In the wake of 9-11, every single day, Count your blessings. On September 11th, 2001, rabbis had already prepared sermons for Rosh Hashanah when 19 Islamic terrorists penetrated, perpetuated terrible evil upon our people and our country. The airplane hijackers committed suicide and in the process murdered almost 3,000 people and injured 6,000 more. For a profusion of people, the wounds and the scars persist. The other night we were watching on, uh, on CNN, they had a, a French couple of brothers, French, I wish I remember the name of it. It was probably just called 9-11, to be honest with you. Um, two brothers, French film, film, uh, filmmakers, and they were following the life of, uh, of a rookie uh, firefighter in New York City and they kept saying over the course of about three months as they're doing this, there's nothing going on. They wake up early, there's a fire, there's nothing going on. Every day they're rolling film, and then they're rolling film, and then on September 11th they're rolling film. And this is documentary footage of the, the firefighters going in. It, it wasn't something that was, uh, you know, staged. This is... It, and I only could watch, <laughs> I really couldn't watch very much of it. Yeah. But anyway, it's pretty incredible. The scars persist. And um, in 2001, after September 11th, many of you wryly pointed out something to me as an American. And it was given voice in a New York Times article on Sunday, September 16th, 2001. You can look it up. Sunday, September 16th, 2001, New York Times article, page two. And I quote, wanting more than anything else to call his family, John Paul DeVito made his way to a Chinese restaurant where the owner let him use his phone. He couldn't get through to his wife, but told his mother to relay the news that he was alive. He said he would try to make his way to some relatives' homes on Leroy Street nearby. First, though, Mr. DeVito wanted a church. He wandered until he came to one near New York University where he had studied years earlier. It was the first time that day that he let himself cry. He dropped to his knees and he prayed. Students in the church stared at him and he realized that they had no idea what he had just experienced. A policeman tried to calm him down. You're in a state of shock, the officer said. And he said, I'm not in shock. He was weeping and he was covered with grime. I like this state. I, I've never been more cognizant in my whole life. He continued on to his relatives and they rushed out on the street to hug him. Strangers hugged him too. Soon afterward, the phone rang. A client, Adam Schuster, head of Televend, based in Jerusalem, had tracked down Mr. DeVito at his relative's home. Mr. DeVito had been trying to raise money for Televend, which is developing technology, or it was 20 years ago, I don't know if you know if it's still in business, but it was developing technology 
to let people use vending and banking machines by dialing their cell phones. And Mr. Schuster had heard of the disaster and he was worried about his friend, Mr. DeVito. Then he congratulated his American financier. He said, you, Mr. DeVito, are an Israeli now. And 20 years ago, many people said the same thing. I guess Americans now have a better idea of what Israelis go through, what our Israeli brothers and sisters feel, the feelings of vulnerability and of uncertainty when they go shopping or when they send their children off to school in the morning. It stays with them when their sons and their daughters and their husbands and their wives leave for military duty or reserve duty. What should we learn from Israel's 73 years of experience dealing with the threats of terrorism and war? Go on living. Go on living. Israelis maintain situational awareness and go on living. They listen to the news every hour on the hour and go on living. And most importantly, they understand if they ever stopped going on with their lives, they would be giving in to the bad guys. And thank God they're not prepared to do that. And neither are we. Neither should we give in. In the days following September 11th, we learned about the people who died. When American Airlines Flight 11 crashed into the World Trade Center North Tower, United Airlines Flight 75 crashed into the World Trade Center South Tower, American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon, and United Airlines Flight 93, minutes before the passengers rushed to the cockpit to crash it into the fields of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. You hear those phone calls, and it is just heartrending. And you did hear Todd Beamer's words, let's roll, and that's what they did. They took that plane down. The recordings of people calling on their cell phones, sending love to their families. And we teared up as we watched on the TV, people holding up pictures of their loved ones, in vain looking for them. We wept as they pleaded for information and they put out their phone numbers. And we heard survivors talk about brave policemen and firefighters and we read transcripts of phone calls. And then we really understood what was lost there. Sure, some of them were prominent businessmen. They worked, in the middle, they worked in the financial district or someplace else. They were executives. They were professionals. However, that's not what people are talking about. That's not what people were talking about here. People spoke of husbands and wives and loving friends and fathers and mothers and sisters and brothers and grandparents and aunts and uncles and children and grandchildren and friends and lovers and acquaintances. And people spoke of how much those people gave to their neighborhoods. and their churches or their synagogues were. Their volunteer associations uh, and their schools, so. In the shadow of every tragedy, you should just count your blessings. The June 2021, I mispronounce this all the time. Is it Champlain Towers? Is that Champ Champlain? I miss, no, Champagne, Champlain, Champagne. All right, however it's pronounced, it's on video now, and I mispronounce it all the time. The towers in Florida, count your blessings. In May 2021, rocket barrages launched by Gaza, from Gaza by Hamas, you just count your blessings. Hurricane Ida and the flooding in Louisiana and New York New Jersey and other places, hundreds of thousands of people without electricity, wildfires in California and other places. By the way, you should know Hamas is still launching incendiary balloons from Gaza into southern Israel. What's an incendiary balloon? It's a, it's a balloon and they launch it and it just floats and it lands in Israel somewhere in the southern part of Israel and it makes a fire because it, it starts burning. So Hamas is they stopped for like 
a eh, couple weeks. And so Israel is still dealing with this. And every once in a while, Israel sends planes to bomb these areas. We don't hear about it in the uh, news media very often, in America anyway. But Israel has to respond. So this Rosh Hashanah, after every tragedy and in the midst of your pain, count your blessings. All of us should count our blessings. We will not be most remembered by our accomplishments or our successes or the toys we accumulate. We'll be most remembered for the love we shared with people around us and for the ways we responded to the love people gave to us. So count your blessings. Just a couple more minutes here. This morning, uh, Mayor Karras chanted Genesis chapter 22 from our Holocaust Precious Legacy Scroll. Genesis 22 is called The Binding of Isaac and the story of how God commanded Abraham to offer up his son as a sacrifice. And then an angel of God intervenes to save the boy at the last moment. Just after the section Mayer chanted so beautifully, just after that section, there's a big thing that happens. You have to go to the next chapter in the Torah. You have to go to Genesis chapter 23. And then in Genesis chapter 23, you read about the death of Sarah. So right after this happens, the binding of Isaac comes to the death of Sarah. Sarah was Abraham's wife and Isaac's mother. And when you go home, you know, open up your, uh, your Bible, your Hebrew Bible, your whichever Bible. But it's still Genesis chapter 23. And you'll notice the Torah never gives the time frame from Sarah's death. Jewish commentators have always suspected there's a link between the binding of Isaac and Sarah's death. So what's the connection? Commentators imagine Sarah died immediately after as a result of Isaac's near-death experience. In one midrash, Satan, which is Satan, not the way Christians believe in Satan, the way Jews believe in Satan is that Satan's God's prosecuting attorney. Tempting people, but the prosecuting attorney. Any of you attorneys here, don't behave like Satan. Don't tempt people. I'm sure you're not. But anyway, one midrash says that Satan told Sarah that Isaac had been killed, and then Sarah died of grief. Another midrash says that Satan told Sarah what really happened, that Isaac was almost killed, but that he was spared, and then Sarah died anyway. Why? The midrash doesn't explain it. But Aviva Zornberg, an Israeli Bible scholar, understands it this way. Sarah died of despair because she could not stand living in a world that was so random and unreliable, a world where life hangs by a thread every single day. How can you live in a world where you say goodbye to your loved ones in the morning and you can't be certain you're ever going to see them again? All that uncertainty was too much for Sarah, and she died. This week, I suspect many of us are feeling a little bit like Sarah, and we're saying to ourselves, how do we live in a world like this? People are asking, where can I move to? I know somebody who thinks he's going to move to Canada, and that's going to help. Where can I move to? How can I change my way of living so that I don't have to be in danger? To those questions, Israelis, I think, have given us the answer. For the most part, our brothers and sisters in Israel and Judaism has rejected Sarah's reaction to the threat of terror. terror. They just have taken a deep breath, they've summoned up their courage, and they've gone on with their lives. And I would hope all Americans, now that we know the vulnerability that Israelis have been dealing with, I hope that we learn from that, and that we'll do the same. Just one more point. Please turn to page 33 in the Machsor. Page 33. This prayer talks about our hopes for the coming year.
just shall see and exalt. Let's read that paragraph together. Then the just exalt, the up glad, and the faithful sing for joy. Violence shall rage no more, and evil shall vanish like smoke. The rule of tyranny shall pass away from the earth, and you alone, O God, shall in over all of your works. That's it. You shall have dominion over all your works. It is true as it is written, but we'll stop with God will have dominion over all his works. And that perhaps more than any single line for me this morning is a prayer for today. That may we this year give good people reason to rejoice about what happens in the world. That evil will vanish like smoke, the rule of tyranny will pass away, and that God will have dominion over everything. And then when we see God's world cleansed of evil and hatred and wickedness, it's a good day. So may each of us and each of you and your loved ones be inscribed in the Sefer Chaim, the Book of Life, for another year, one year at a time. We don't need to be greedy. We'll just take one year at a time, maybe even one day at a time. And remember, go on living and count your blessings. Amen. Let us continue on page 156 with Alenu. As we rise.
page 158. Last night I forgot to announce the High Holy Day Beam of Flowers. People usually give High Holy Day Beam of Flowers in loving memory of dearly departed friends and relatives. Judy Weisberg in loving memory of her Harvey, Harvey and her husband Harvey. The Katz family in loving memory of wife and mother Eileen. And Kathy and Alvy in loving memory of Lily and Jack Markowitz. And we thank them very much. It helps beautify the synagogue. And there will be more flowers that we'll have on Yom Kippur to help beautify the synagogue. Lord, you give us dear ones and make them the strength of our life, the light of our eyes. They depart from us and leave us bereaved. But you are the living source of our healing. To you, the stricken look for comfort and the sour laden for consolation. On this solemn day of the year, the new year, we see life is through windows that open on eternity. We see that love abides, the soul abides, as you, O oh God, abide forever. We see that our years are more than grass that withers, more than flowers that fade. They weave a pattern of life that is timeless and unite us with a world that is from end to end the abode of your love and the vesture of your glory. In life and in death, we cannot go where you are not. And where you are, all is well. Sustained by this assurance, we praise your name, O God of life. This Rosh Hashanah, we recall those who have most recently passed into the valley of the shadow of death. Melvin Moleki, Moleki, Renee Diamond, Lila Sorkin, Sharon Barton, and those whose yard sites are commemorated this Shabbat, either by the English or the Hebrew date. Jeff Yarus, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Marty Middleman, Howard Schaefer, Marlene Schaefer, Charles Ehrlich, Hinda Apple, Richard Rosenthal, a dear friend who was murdered in the World Trade Center, 9-11. Bart Baker, Sarah Black, Mac Bosson, Milton Kadkin, Jack Edelman, Herman Eisenberg, Helen Fine, Lily Fellman, Herman Fogel, Amalia Forden, Joyce Friedrich, Arnold Green, Marvin Helf, Grant Heller, Elvira Herbstman, Herman Howard, Jacob Jones, Irving Katowski, Sadie Coplo, Jack Malkin, Elsie Menx, Daniel Kaplan, Donald Rothstein, Eva Rosa, Anna Sachs, Kevin Knight Starman, Sylvia Weiner, Benjamin Zalbin, those on 9-11 in New York City, in Washington, D.C., in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and later of illness, first responders, and others who helped clean up the site. The uh, 13 flags there are for the, the Marines, the, the corpsmen, the, the soldiers uh, killed in that homicide, suicide bomb. Kabul, and those of our ancestors who perished in the Shoah, may all of their memories be for a blessing, as we rise to recite Kaddish, page 158. 
May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved and let us say, Amen. Amen. Our closing melody will be Ose Shalom. Let us uh, fill the sanctuary and the, uh, the ethernet with our voices, please. Ose Shalom Bim Roma Huya Ose Shalom Aleinu Ve'akol Israel God of our fathers and God of our mothers, watch over us as we leave here this today and allow us to enter into lives filled with peace. And let us say amen. amen. Imaginary mozi. Katarunai Elohe nu melech haolam ha mozi lechem in haaretz. Amen. Batavon, we will see you either in the atrium or on the patio. Children's service at 2 30. Shana Tova, everybody. Shana Tova. Thank you. Thank you. Let me turn the mic.